Rosie, I'm going to confit some salmon, which is a really sort of clever way of cooking salmon. Mm. You don't quite cook it. What you do is basically set the protein. Now, when you confit something, it's usually you would associate that with confiting duck or goose or that kind of thing where you would cure it with a little bit of salt, maybe some sugar, some herbs, and that draws out some of the moisture. And then what you do is cook it nice and slowly, mm. you know, maybe duck fat, goose fat. And Rosie, in keeping with our Mediterranean theme, we're going to use extra virgin olive oil. We use it abundantly in everything. Good on them. Exactly. Good now, fats. Now, what I've got here is a big pot with a lot of extra virgin olive oil, and I've got a temperature issue here, so I need to keep an eye on the temperature. Yep. I need to keep it at 72 degrees Celsius to start with. So I'll add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I'm using all round up. Bring it down again. That'll just control the temperature. So I'll have that handy just in case yep. it goes up or down. Now, you can see I've got some salmon here, and what I'm going to do Beautiful is pop that into the olive oil. Now, to add some flavour to the extra virgin olive oil, I've got some lovely thyme here. Have a smell of that. Beautiful. About quarter to three in uh, <laughs> other people's language. So I'll pop some time into the oil and you can see I've got a thermometer. Really, really, really important that you control the temperature of the oil. Otherwise, you'll just overcook the salmon. So it's really important that you do that. So the time's in there. I've also got some peppercorns go on the top of it, about a tablespoon of them. Some lovely fresh bay leaves mm. and you'll find these all around the Mediterranean. Or if you go strolling around my restaurant, I've got a big bay tree next to my restaurant yep. and we just go outside and pick them. This is really what the Mediterranean is about. They use their local produce. Whatever's growing, that is what they will use. So that's a really good thing, I think, for us to try to do as well. If it's fresh and in season, Done. chuck it in. There we yep. go. I've got some coriander seeds. They go in as well. And I've got some lemon. What I'm going to do, Rosie, is just take some of the peel off the outside like that and that will help to give the oil... Just oh, a really just sort of... it. Exactly, lovely mm. sort of a flavour. And what I do, I'll just sort of give it a bit of a twist like this. And what that does is opens up the pores of the lemon and you can see it becomes nice and shiny. The oils come out of the lemon. So what I do... What is happens I'll... when I do yoga. Exactly. Yeah. All, the pour, all the stuff comes yeah. out of it. Now, usually when you confit, what you would normally do is put sugar and salt on the actual salmon or whatever you're going to confit. And that helps to draw out some of the moisture and helps to concentrate the flavour. Really important. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to pop a little bit of salt salt on the top of it and then pop it in. So a little bit of the Murray River flakes of salt which actually flows into the sea eventually but way before it flows into the sea they actually make these beautiful crystals and I use this kind of salt when I want it to look really nice and it's not mm. quite as salty. It's not like table salt that's really salty. This actually got a beautiful flavour to it that goes all the way through. Now what I do Rosie is I know it's at 72 degrees. Yeah. I'll just turn the gas off and this is when I put the salmon in. I just grab the salmon like this wiggle it around a little bit so it doesn't sit on the bottom and I'll just pop it into the oil. Yep. Now there's no more heat on the bottom of that oil, that's really important. What I'm going to do is that 72 degrees will start to come down slowly mm. to about 45 degrees Celsius and that's when I know the salmon will be cooked all the way through. And it won't be flaky and firm, it'll be very much like a soft poached egg. Beautiful. So what I'll do is I'll pop this in here, give it a couple of minutes, make sure it's underneath and you can see it's not that hot. It's quite warm to the touch but it's not hot enough to cook it all the way through. It's got a beautiful flavour to it. Now what we're going to do is let that sit there for a few minutes. We'll give this a bit of a clean up. And I'm going to do some greens. I've got some asparagus, some mm. broccolini, a few herbs that we're going to put it together with. This will be a delicious dish. Oh, I know. Look at this, Rosie. I'm going to pull this little piece of salmon out, and it's still quite soft to the touch, but it's cooked all the way through. Now, I'm what I'll do is amazed how many good fats you've managed to get in one pot. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's lovely. All that omega three, beautiful from that salmon with all that olive oil. And I'll just show you. It looks gorgeous it looks like that. Gorgeous, doesn't it? yeah. I've left the skin on, but if you want, you can take the skin off. Now, I'm just going to assemble the dish, and I've got some asparagus and broccolini that I've tossed in some butter and some chives. I'll pop this onto the bottom of the plate Beautiful. here like this. I'm using my fingers, but you know my fingers are nice and clean. I'll just pop that on like that. And then the salmon, I'll just very carefully pick up with this 
palette knife here and pop it on the top there like that. Now I've got some salsa here that you put together beautifully, some capers, some tomato. And All just... those beautiful Mediterranean ingredients, you've picked them well, Fantastic. very well. Jizzle that on there like that and then a little bit of extra virgin olive oil over the top there, gives it a lovely shine. A little piece of lemon wedge on the side and we've got a lovely little dish. Move that over there. Now I'm going to chop into this Stunning. and have a taste. And I'll just show you what I mean well, about I'm going to have a little the taste of my salsa salmon there. being cooked all the way through. I'll just push that side like that. Now I really love the flavour of the salmon. You can see it comes apart really, really easily. And as you taste it, mm, you can really taste the extra virgin olive oil. It's not too strong, but it just really polishes it up and gives it a lovely, lovely flavour. It's a beautiful simple dish. Great. All the iconics right there. Flavours of the Mediterranean. And you reckon I might live for another 100 years, I'm don't you? I'm not sure that you will, actually. Maybe yes. another week. Yeah. You never know.